griffin vultures in Spain now leave the ledges on the cliffs where they've spent the night and launch themselves into the air. With the thermals rising powerfully beneath their outstretched wings, they sail effortlessly upwards. All they have to do is to make sure that they remain within the column of warm air. So dozens of them spiral together in tight circles, adjusting their flight with the tiniest movements of their wings and tail. There can be no more economical flight than this. The vulture's ability to read the air conditions above their landscape and detect exactly where the thermals are at their most powerful seems almost uncanny. But in recent years, human beings have also mastered it. When you hit a thermal in a glider, you really feel it. Your stomach drops beneath your feet. Oh! Right away. I'm going to roll into the thermal here because there's one right there. Glider pilots spend a lot of time going around in circles, just like birds of prey do, because the thermal is a rising column of air. In order to stay in it, you have to turn. There's nothing to see, though, is there, apart from what's on the ground. You can't see anything in the air to indicate this thermal. Right, right now, this thermal is, there's no cumulus cloud over this thermal, but often there's, if you look over there, you can see all those cumulus clouds. Underneath most of those, there will be a thermal. And that's one of the indicators of lift. That's one thing we will look for. That's what bird look, birds look for also when they fly, I'm sure. But look, feel that. There's a big rocky outcropping. And there's our lift. Look at that. Now you can see that altimeter winding up. Look at that. How high could we go with this? We could probably go to about 14, 15,000 feet with no problem. And do the birds go as high as that? I've seen birds up at 16, 18,000 feet. They're just out there flying for fun. How do you know they're flying for fun? Because how can you see a mouse from 18,000 feet? <laughs> Not hardly. <laughs> and they do all kinds of tricks in aerobatics. Look at this. We're really going up now. Yeah, the, the, uh, the pressure on the wing is actually bending them, isn't it? Yeah, the spar is slightly flexible. So when we develop more lift, it makes the spar actually bend upward a little bit. Very similar to a bird. 